There's a tiger up there. There's a tiger down here. Tiger should have stayed up there. Welcome back, everybody, to Enshrouded. I'm the Bearded OG. And in this episode, we're going to go get uh, the blacksmith tools in the Highlands and maybe hit the uh, Highlands uh, Spire as well. Um, that's kind of cool how the how the red light uh, or, or, you know, the red beam shoots out of the Spire like that. I like it. I like it a lot. All right. So uh, we're not going to do any building in, in today's episode. I don't have a whole lot of time, actually. Uh, this is probably going to be a, a fairly quick episode, but I wanted to get something out so you guys have a video tomorrow. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, blacksmith's request. We're gonna have to go down into the muckety muck to get that, aren't we? Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, let's go here. Uh, one of you guys told me in the comments that there's a new, more powerful eternal ice bolt in the game. And so that's interesting. And we'll have to uh, see if we can locate that. Uh, let's do a heal. And let's do some buffs. Take one of those. And one of those. And one of those. And we're going to want... We're going to be down in the shroud for a bit, so let's take the big shroud potion. Um, How much time does that give us? That gives us... 11 minutes 12 minutes okay so yeah we're gonna take this too which should knock us back down to does that hmm okay well I guess we we now have uh 11 minutes instead of 12. uh let's also take plastic of the fell and uh I think we're good Get that back on um, Fireball. And let's rock and roll up. So yeah, we'll go down and get these blacksmith tools. And then um, if we have time, we'll see if we can run back over to the Spire and do that as well. Is this a save point or a flame thingy? I think it's uh, just a save point. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. We already went to this place over here and did the first part of that quest. Let's get Ice Bolt on because I think we're going to have a couple of bad, bad bads here. Okay, well, let's go back to Fireball now, because that's probably the last of the scavenger guys we'll have to deal with. And fire works better on the dudes down here. Let's see if we can make that. No, we're not going to make that. Okay, we'll go this way then. There is a flame altar. Oh man, we just barely missed it. I don't have updraft. <laughs> Uh, there's a flame altar up on that hill. And let's also... We'll just let our... What are you... Oh, no, another comment you guys made, which is a great comment, is that... I, I don't... Uh, this isn't true in all, all of the time, but if I don't need to... Uh, use my wand on the bugs. I should just let my aura thing kill them because then it just saves durability. And yeah, that makes sense. If we're not in a hurry, that is. Um, all right, I think that stuff's gone enough. Did he drop any other of his thingamadoodles? We actually need those ammonia sacks for our flame 
altar upgrade among uh, other things. So yeah, if I just let the aura kill these guys, it saves me on. Uh, oh shit! On durability. I'm not gonna do that all the time though, because sometimes we just gotta motivate, you know. Nomad Highlands Conway Brothers. K, okay, pause the screen to read that if you want to. We've got a flask of the fell and a silver chest with a mace, which we will melt down. Because we don't care about those things. Okay, pause the screen to read that. And we got another chest with some goodies in it. Uh, let's just take that right now since we need to top off anyway. Excellent. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to um, see if we can get up here. Come on, man. There we go. Okay. We're going to run up to the top of this real quick, and I'm just going to grab the, the flame uh, up here. And we can also refresh our shroud timer. There's a tiger up there. There's a tiger down here. Tiger should have stayed up there. Not very smart. Okay, um, can we make it all the way up here? This is a long... Uh, yeah, we can. There's a, a ladder in the, yeah, I think it's in the Revelwood um, hollow halls, which by the way, we need to do. Um, what level are we? We are, yeah, we, we need to actually do that. Um, today is Thursday, Thursday evening. Um, so I'm going to make it a point to do that this weekend. Uh, maybe even in the next episode, we'll see. It's just that, I, you know, uh, we need lots of time for that because when I did that on multiplayer, it still took us, gosh, I don't, uh, a long time <laughs> for all of us to get through it on multiplayer. So me doing it by myself, is going to be a long haul, I think. There we go. So we'll, we'll tentatively plan on doing that this weekend. Um, I might, I might be a just slightly over leveled for it, but I don't think I'm massively over leveled for it. All right, let's get our stand back and then we're going to fly on down to get the blacksmiths. To the Jasper Isles. guys pause the screen read that okay so I think we have to go Is there something in here? For grave robbers. Not that I can tell. All right, so let's see. We've got to go. It says location is above. I think we have to maybe go over this way. Oh, we got a root. Well, how about that? Uh, well, that's a spawner right there. Okay. Uh, can we... Alright, 
Let's see if we can get this thing knocked down. I don't remember a root being down here. Has this always been here? Hmm. Maybe it has. I, I guess I just don't remember. Okay, so let's see. Let's look at a map here. Um, we need to go... Th uh, this way, right? Well, that way. Okay. Let's, uh, here, let's get back out of the shroud for a second. Uh, we got one point. Um, I think we said we were going to take all the little intelligence and spirit nodes just to buff ourselves on that. Arcane deflection actually wouldn't suck. But we're also trying to work towards dessert stomach. What's this? Spirit? Yeah, and that gives us more mana. And that gives us more mana. That would give us another intelligence if we want a successful parry. The thing is, is I don't parry a whole lot. I do a little bit, but not a whole lot. Um... Yeah, we could also be saving points for updraft too. Spirit into yeah, let's take this intelligence. Be gone. A magic power punch that pushes stuns hit foe. It pushes and stuns hit foes. Replaces your unarmed attacks as long as you have the necessary mana. Hmm, I don't know about that. Does that mean I'd have to drop my wand? Cuz it said it replaces unarmed attack. I don't know. Um, all right, we are going... Which direction are we going? This way. Yeah. Right, I think we have to go down there where that light lamp potion thingy is. We'll just finish this guy off with our aura. Die, sucker. Pause the screen to read. Um, that's actually about our blacksmith, too. So definitely read that. I've already read it a couple times. Pause the screen. And this is where we need to go, I believe. There they are. Smithing tools and a silver chest. Or no, actually gold chest. Ring of burning light. Ooh. That that actually lights us up dark places. Um Equip. Wait, what? So, is it lighting us up? Oh, yeah, look at that. And it's even kind of like coming off of our, our finger, too. All right. Does that provide more light than my wand, though? Yeah, I I don't I don't think that provides that much more light than our than my wand does. It's kind of neat, you know, for anybody that doesn't have a wand, but it's not significantly better than the wand in my opinion. So pause the screen, read it. I think we'll just, you know, we'll go with what we normally have so we have our better uh, health and mana mana regen and all that kind of stuff it's uh it should that I, th I think that ring should be brighter because it's just not that big of a deal most players I think in this game even if you are a melee could be wrong about this but don't most players at least have a wand on them 
Maybe? Maybe not. When when I played a uh, an archer in my first playthrough, I, I always carried a wand with me. I didn't use it very much, but I did have it with me. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know, man. I guess we'll go out this way. We need to stay out of that muckety muck. Die, nah, sucker. I should probably collect some more more bug stuff. What's keeping me from getting out of there? There we go. Oh, I'm glad I didn't hit that. <laughs> oh, another thing you guys told me in the comments that if you have critters or any mobs stuck in the in the ground in the terrain to if you throw a bomb it'll free them. So that's good to know. All right, so where are we at? Go back across this bridge, we can get back out of the shroud. All right, let's do this. Let's um, let's salvage that. Oh, oh, <laughs> I thought that was a bug sneaking up on me. Um, did we go in here? There's a... A shroud reduction thingy, but we don't need that. There's a spawner over there. Alright, let's do this. Let's go back to... Here, I think. And let's make our way to the spire and let's knock out that spire real quick. And then we'll have it as a fast travel point. Yeah, I've got to... Uh, I can put down two more altars. We should probably... Let's make an altar to carry with us. Wait, do I already have one? No. No. So that way we can go back home and sleep because it's just about dark. There we go. Okay, so we are working our way. Um, we went to Rattlebleak before. Somewhere over in here, I think, is where the spire is. So let's just get a little closer to that direction. This is where we killed Fell Monstrosity. We could kill it again, get the head for the purpose of having the head. Since we had to use the, fir the first head to, you know, do our flame upgrade. I don't need that. You know, one nice thing about being um, a mage, a wizard build, I've noticed, is I don't have to gather a whole shitload of twigs. <laughs> I was constantly having to gather twigs as an archer. So, yeah, that's kind of nice. Alright, let's go ahead and set our shrine down here because it is just about ready to... Well, it already has. Get dark as hell. I'm going to go back to the base, sleep, put a few things away, repair. I'll meet you guys back here. Oh, actually, hold on. Let's, um... Let's put the blacksmith tools down. Hey. hey! Um. Yeah, I guess we can. Let's see. Rotate is R. I've been playing a lot of Planet Crafter um, lately, and in that game, rotate is control mouse wheel, so that's why I was a little. Corn fuzzled there. Okay, so we found the letter from your daughter. And now he's much much appreciative. Can we now make the bronze tools? Uh yes, we can. Oh nice. Okay, we're gonna do this. So we need linen, bronze bars, and hardwood. Better to be the hammer. 
That's right. It's always better to be the hammer than the anvil. You're absolutely right. Okay, do I have any bronze in here? Yeah, no. But I believe I have some in the warehouse. Yeah, you know what? Let's actually, just for the hell of it, let's do that comparison again. Okay, so this is the light we get just from our wand. And if we go here and... I mean, it it is a little better. I just don't think it's as good as it should be. Yeah, I, I, I really don't think it's as good as it should be. But it is still kind of cool, though. All right. Anyway, back to this. We are looking for some bronze, which is going to be down here. Bronze, bronze, bronze. Yep, we got plenty of bronze. We need some hardwood. Got some of that. And uh, uh, linen. Yeah. Okay. Let's go make ourselves some bronze tools. Nice. Nicety, nice, nice, nice. Bronze felling axe. Bronze pickaxe. Okay. Get back out there. I'll get back out there. Switch out the pick and the axe. Uh, here's the bronze axe. Very nice. All right, guys, I'm going to put stuff away, sleep. I'll meet you back out at our flame altar in the morning. Okay, guys, it's morning. We're back here. I'm going to take this altar down. And uh, let's head on over to the spire. I'll pick the sage here real quick. Uh, we don't really need the peppers because that's for archery. Yeah, we're not far away from that spire at all. We need to get some more bone too, but I'll get that off camera. I think we need like 20 pieces for the flame upgrade. The next flame upgrade. Since we're not going to have any enemies inside the spire, let's take a water. We'll replenish our health. And I think we'll do some sugar cane for fast mana regen. Grab some of this. Okay, let's do this. I'm not going to take time to um, break pots and stuff like that. Just not going to do it. Here. Oh, we got it. I'm one of those players that, um, you know, I'll, I'll do some of that kind of stuff, but I'm not a min-maxer. It's not like I have to get every possible thing that can be got, you know? It's just not the way I roll. Okay, let's do uh, you for that. I guess there's not one on that side. Um, let's go this way. Got some bronze bars there, some spikety spikes. Anything out here? there. Okay, that's our... Uh, wait, what? Is that the room we came in or is that a different room? I don't know. I don't remember. Nothing out here. Nothing out here. 
Um, okay, so we got one of those buttons. Hmm. activated that didn't I I guess not okay so that's the next level did uh did that unlock this guy yeah it did okay probably a chest in here or something well no this just leads back to here um This is where... Oh, here we go. Here we go. Arsonist bow. What level is this? That's a level 20. We're currently sporting a level 16. Yeah, this one's better. Unequip. Melt. Equip. Very good. Okay. And this is... The way up to the next level. Got a grappling hook thingy there. Oh, you know what? That's a... We have to do that one by hand. There we go. Ouch. That hit me, man. Okay, so we got that one done. Let's go over here. Pick up some bars. That, uh, the door opened. chest here with a big uh, shroud flask. That's good. Okay, let's go back this way. This is where we... Is this where we came up? I don't remember. What happens if we use it? Does it take us up or down? Actually, I don't know. Can you go back down? Oh, yeah, you can. <laughs> we just did. Okay. Yes, indeed. And I, there's a water on the bench over there, but that's right. We don't need water. It's not a big deal. Okay, so we came through here. We went over that way. Um, that opened this room up. We grappled over here. And we came up through that way. I think we need to go down there. Experience scroll. What do you guys tell me in the comments? Here we go. Uh, to use acid bite on the bosses, and it really does a lot of damage. Um, is that still the case after the big nerf with it, though, or, or, or not? I don't know. All right, we got to get that button opened.
fireball. Dun 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 I think this is where we came up. Yep. Don't see anything in here. Oh shit. <laughs> I think we were supposed to open that door. Well, maybe not. Maybe we did need to come this way. Good, that turned that off. Um, ooh, look at that, greater mana potion. We got some lava down there. That door still needs to be opened up. That's where we came in at. So yeah, we gotta get that door open. Obviously did not hit that one correct. Let's try this again. Ow. Lava's hot. Ow again. What the hell, man? I must have stepped in the lava. I guess I was just barely too close to it. Uh, let's go back to you. Alright. Let's time this a little bit better. For Pete's sake, man. Well, I actually can jump up to it, but not that it does us any good. Seriously? Okay. There we go. There we go. Okay, so that'll open up that other door most likely that... We need it open, which I think was this one. Ow. No, not that one. Uh, we already pressed that button. This one. Okay, did we miss a chest on this level? I mean, we got a couple normal chests, but I mean like a, a, a gold or silver chest. Maybe we did. I don't know. Let's just go. Huzzah! Enough is always out of reach. Okie dokie. Um, let's end the episode by going after Phil. What's his face again? Um, and I'm going to actually try the acid bite on him and just see. We'll see if it's still good. Uh, we'll take one of those. Take one of these. And one of these. And eh, I don't think we need to use our flame scroll. I only have one of those. I think we'll be okay without it. Okay, let's do this. I don't think it sees us. It does put a nice dot on it, doesn't it? Okay. 
Yeah, I can see where that's useful. Is acid bite something you can spec in at all, or is it just its own thingy? I don't know what the hell I was waiting for there. Alright, I'm sold. Oh, we got two necromancer skulls. Acid bite kicks ass on bosses. We got another cauldron. Very cool. Alright. It has a it basically has like a, a pretty heavy dot. You know, damage over time on it. Doesn't last very long, but it does some pretty significant damage for the time that it does last. So yeah, me likey. All right, guys, we're gonna wrap up the episode here. Um, possibly in the next episode we'll we'll go do um, Revelwood Hollow Halls. If not, then definitely planning on doing it uh, this weekend. Looking forward to it. It's gonna be a lot of fun, and we'll probably die horribly. Uh, so with that being said, thanks everybody for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode, and if you did. Please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.